I don't know about y'all, but that looks pretty darn good, don't y'all? Heck yeah. Buddy, we're at Choctaw Archery, and uh, I am here to take some 50-yard shots. That's right. You've seen me doing 20 and 30 and 40 with the Victory, and uh, I actually had to run to Sam's first, but that's what this video is. One is I'm going to be shooting some 50s, but mainly I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, and that's Chris Bell, who is my uh, bow tech and also a good friend of ours. So anyway, stay tuned. What is going on Grand Roots Outdoors? That's right, it's Aaron Morstead and I am at Choctaw Archery. And check this out From real quick. Air conditioner. All the way down to that target right there is 50 yards. Shooting the PSE Evo EVL 31 at a 28 inch draw length. Let's take a walk. That's right. It's a 28 inch draw length. I'm drawing, shooting a 62 to 63 pound draw weight max. You're feeling pretty darn good. This is amazing. And that was a 50. Check it out. I don't know about y'all, but that looks pretty darn good, don't y'all? Heck yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. We're back and I told you I'm at Chalked Archery. There's the sign. There's my bow tech, Chris. Chris Bell. Get What's to know that. Everybody? Get to know his name, y'all, because uh, he's about to start up a YouTube channel also. And you guys need to check him out when he gets going, and I'll let you guys know when he gets going. And uh, his thing is, is he's a bass fisherman. Even though he's a <laughs> archery guy, his thing is actually bass fishing. And so you're going to get a lot of videos with him. I'm actually helping him get some stuff going and as far as names go and as far as getting cameras going so you may end up uh i'm gonna let you talk to him real quick but you may end up seeing uh, aaron out on a bass boat here before too long i'm all right with that so anyway so here this is mr chris. chris yes sir what got you into bass fishing uh my dad when i was about two years old Okay, so fishing is in the blood. Fishing is in the blood. I have uh, grew up fishing, started fishing tube tournaments. Dad would take me to the, you know, the ponds, the local little small watershed lake, stuff like that. Started tube fishing. Uh, got into, when I got a driver's license, I could drive. Started two-man bass fishing, a uh, little two-man boats. Um, got into doing a lot of um, tournaments with my dad, you know, father and son type stuff. Uh, fishers of men type leagues, uh, everything like that. You know, of course, life gets in the way. You start a family, you do everything, graduated, started working, uh, been in the bow business for quite a long time, love archery. Uh, did a lot of competitive archery. Basically got to a point in my life when my kids were grown, um, my wife and I decided, hey, you know, what do you want to do for true passion? I said, I'd love to start fishing again. Got a kayak, started kayak fishing. Um, that took off like a rocket ship. It was great. Um, basically got me a kayak, started fishing some small local stuff, some Oklahoma stuff, got into the KBF, started the KBF series, uh, started doing some trail series, won several tournaments, got qualified for the national championship, went down to Gunnersville, Alabama, fished in my kayak last year, national championship, did okay, uh, had a really good first day, not a great second day, so <laughs> lost a lot of fish, uh, could have been up really well, but you know, that's fishing, that's anything in life, really. Um, but it's kind of taken me through there. Uh, got a, ended up buying a bass boat. Now I'm fishing big boat tournaments, still fishing kayak stuff. Uh, I love kayak fishing, love backwater creeks, rivers, stuff like that. It's just fun. Um, so now, you know, here I am. I work in a bow shop. It's one of my passions. I love archery. Help guys out like Aaron. And I need a lot of help. <laughs> <laughs> he does need help. But, um, you know, doing stuff like that and then uh, just kind of seeing where I'm going to go. I'm at a point in my life where, you know, kids are growing and out of the house and mom and I like to travel. So bass fishing's allowed us to travel and do stuff, gets her to do things and, and I get to do what I love. Um, like Aaron said, I'm going to start a YouTube channel here because everybody thinks I'm absolutely hilarious, whether I'm 
in the boat, falling out of the boat, or doing whatever. Um, they, you know, just they make fun of me all the time. I guess I'm goofy, which is cool, and I guess that's what people like to see. Um, but also, it kind of gets me out, gets me recognized, and, and and I enjoy doing it. I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy being around people. I mean, I work in a bow shop. I see hundreds of people every day, especially this time of the year. It's it's insane. But um, you know, looking to get Aaron to help me out on some video, you know, videography, if you will, and pointers and tips and stuff like that. So yeah, when I get my uh, when I get my channel established, you guys come check me out. You know, we'll we'll all have fun together. It'll be it'll be a good time. Now, what's the craziest thing you ever did bass fishing? <laughs> the craziest thing? I don't know. I had a jackpot last night or uh, last week. I uh, get into it. We're fishing a big grass bed, and uh, one of my one of my really good buddies, Ryan Warner, and I were fishing. We're doing pretty good in our series and everything. We're fishing a grass bed, and about six inches of water on top of this big grass mat. We're flipping. We're doing this. I decided to run a frog and caught a 17-pound uh, channel cat in the grass. <laughs> Uh, dang near pulled him out of the boat trying to net it it was uh it was it was a lot of fun but you know just stuff like that's a lot of fun um as far as crazy i won't say crazy stuff but you know me i'm i, I guess apparently i'm half clumsy i'm always falling down falling out doing stuff like that so my wife thinks it's pretty comical i got her actually going and and just to to enjoy the show so yeah i don't know i don't know about crazy if that's crazy or not but it, it was fun for everybody around except me but <laughs> there you go so that's chris bell and he's getting ready like i said we're working on some names to get him going and get his camera stuff going and i'll be if he needs me to i'll edit his stuff for him i don't even care so it's all about having fun and getting out in the out in the woods and out in the water so stay tuned to next time if you like what you see hit your thumbs up like what you see and you're not a subscriber subscribe to the channel and this guy's channel when it gets going and uh Hit the little bell for notifications on both. Love you guys. See you next time.